सो ओवरव्यू ऑफ मॉडल टैक्स कन्वेंशन मेजर टैक्सेशन आइटम्स आर ऑलरेडी डिस्कस नाउ वी नीड टू डिस्कस मेथड्स फॉर एलिमिनेशन ऑफ डबल टैक्सेशन फॉर्चुनेटली वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस वॉट इज डबल टैक्सेशन अवॉइडेंस अग्रीमेंट एंड मेथड्स ऑफ डबल टैक्सेशन अवॉइडेंस अग्रीमेंट यू नो दैट दे आर टू फेमस मेथड्स ऑफ डी टी डबल दैट इज एग्जम्शन मेथड एंड टैक्स क्रेडिट मेथड इज एंड इट दिस मेथड्स यू ऑलरेडी नो अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट यू यू ऑल्सो नो द टाइप्स ऑफ डबल टैक्सेशन इट कैन बी जूरिडिक्शनल डबल टैक्सेशन और इट कैन बी इकोनॉमिकल डबल टैक्सेशन सो ओनली दोज थिंग्स आर रिपीटेड हियर वी विल जस्ट वॉक थ्रू इट यू डोंट हैव टू लिटरली स्टडी दिस फ्रॉम दिस provisions you just need to have the background okay article 23 a and 23 b exemption method and tax credit method that's what is written here in many cases the application of tax treaty may result into double taxation for taxpayer in such cases section or article 23 and 23 b provides for mechanism through which the tax credit or exemption may be available in the resident states for the taxes deducted in the source state okay so the relief will always be given by resident state this is what you need to remember if it is indian resident and he has paid tax also in source state then it's government of india which should provide the relief from the double taxation two approaches for elimination of double taxation under this model convention one is exemption method which is 23a and another one is credit method india follows majorly credit methods please understand we are more focused on credit method in fact majority countries are following credit method that is more sensible tax exemption may be available to the resident states for the taxes deducted in the source states meaning thereby once the income is tax in the source state the same income will not become taxable again in the resident state so there will be specific exemption provided in dtaa according to the law it will be taxable but due to this article it will become exempted now tax credit is what if you have paid say for example 20 crore rupees tax in the source state and in residential state you have to pay another 50 crore rupees so while paying the 50 crore rupees they will give you the credit of 20 crore tax that you have paid to that country please understand credit means actually relief okay this much amount will be subtracted while computing your tax in india so tax credit may be available in the resident state for the taxes deducted in the source states these methods are not mutually exclusive and there are many cases where treaty may adopt exemption method for certain types of income and credit method for other types of income please understand uh, again it is not that you have to follow one method for all the law it's not that every time every time for every type of income you can choose the method juridical or jurisdictional double taxation and economical double taxation so what is the difference you know that juridical double taxation means the same income is a taxable in the hands of same person in two different countries but because of two different rule source rule of taxation and residence rule of taxation the same income or capital that is investment is a taxable in the hands of same person for more than one state due to source rule here due to source rule and residence rule two different persons are taxable in respect of the same income then we call it economic taxation so what is the example of economic taxation that we have already done you know that there is a dispute between real owner versus legal owner there might be a country which is taxing the legal owner whereas india may tax the real owner in case of deemed income concept isn't it so one more example they have given here so fts fees for technical service may be taxable in the hands of the recipient in the both resident state as well as source state based on the domestic tax laws please understand source rule and residence rule okay here they have given the example of dividend distribution tax earlier india had a dividend distribution tax according to dividend distribution tax a company will pay dividend distribution tax and in the hands of shareholder the dividend would have become exempted that is indian law but according to the foreign country dividend is taxable dividend from foreign country was taxable so it may happen that the same income the dividend is the same income on which a company also has paid tax and in the hands of shareholder also it is getting tax according to the foreign law so that is the same income taxable in the hands of two different person in two different countries in respect of the dividend distributed by the company ddt may be payable by such company in source state where as the dividend may be taxable in the hands of the shareholder of the other contracting state on the basis of the residence isn't it so then how do we handle this see handling jurisdictional double taxation is very easy and that's what is in our syllabus 
वाई बिकॉज आर्टिकल ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री बी प्रोवाइड्स मेकेनिज्म एक्जम्शन मेथड और टैक्स क्रेडिट मेथड दिस मेकेनिज्म इज ऑलरेडी देयर बट इफ इट इज इकोनॉमिकल डबल टैक्सेशन देन द स्टडी हैज टू हैपन रिसर्च हैज टू हैपन एंड देन म्यूचुअली प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड म्यूचुअली दे शुड कम अप विथ एन सोल्यूशन फॉर इकोनॉमिकल डबल टैक्सेशन द आर्टिकल डू नॉट एड्रेस इज इकोनॉमिकल डबल टैक्सेशन इफ टू स्टेट्स विश टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ इकोनॉमिक डबल टैक्सेशन दे मस्ट डू इन बायोलेटरल निगोसिएशन थैंक यू